All right, what is up? Day 40. We are here. Quack attack is back. Jack. I mean, it didn't go anywhere, but it's so sunny. I was like looking at the glare, trying to figure out the glare, trying to fix the glare. Don't know how to do it. Don't know what I'm doing here. It's sunny today. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great day. Kids have a little shadow day at school, so we'll be there. It'll be great. Mary was so sweet. She's like, do I get to shadow for the school that I'm going to next year? She's five. She'll be in kindergarten. So I think she's super stoked about that. Yesterday's vlog, I think got cut off several times. So I'm going to have to, I got to keep looking at the red, red dot, make sure that the red dot is happening. Road work ahead while we're paying attention to driving. All right. So we had a, a leg deload workout today. It was fine. I just did some work. I'm still trying to remove all the water from underneath my gym panels. So getting those up after the workout, getting the fan going, getting the dehumidifier going, all the things. So we can get it all nice and dry down there and make sure that there's no water so mold doesn't form. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, it was good. It was a good workout. It was fine. Deloads are fine. I'm trying not to overly stress the legs. So that's the that's the goal, not to push too hard. Uh, maybe even like a six sometimes, depending on the move. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we had, what do we have? Leg curls, reverse lunges. Adductor and abductor, which are my favorite moves, my favorite workout ever. And then calf raises and it was supposed to be glute ham raises, like a Nordic, but I switched it to lower back raises. It's a glute ham machine, but it doesn't really work that way. It's more just your lower back. <clears throat> You're not able to get far enough over to really activate and squeeze your glutes or your hams. And there's no like, there's no slot for the, your junk. So it's hard to squeeze your glutes when that just pushes everything forward into the pad. So it's not, it's not great. It's not fun. What else? The big thing that I think is fun to talk about right now is this idea that calories determine your weight. Macros will determine your look, your composition, and micros will determine how you feel. So again, that's calories will determine your weight. Macros will determine your look and micros will determine how you feel. And that's, that's really critical. I think that's a really good, simple way of, of saying it. And Mike Matthews, I saw Mike Matthews say it and I cribbed it from him. I actually posted about it and then tagged him and he's like, Hey, thanks brother. I was like, cool, cool. You tag, you, you replied to me. I feel so cool. Apparently this is 40 part two. Uh, so Mike Matthews, yeah, but calories in. Calories out is huge. Calories determine your weight. Macros determine your look. Micros determine your feelings. It's so, so, so true. So calories determine your weight, right? It's an energy balance. How much food is coming in versus how much your body needs. If your body is using more than you are consuming, then you are going to be in a caloric deficit and you will lose weight. If your body is using less than you are consuming, then you are in a caloric surplus and you will gain weight. So the food that your body doesn't use will be stored, you know. Uh, it can also build up muscle, but if it doesn't do any of that, then it will be stored potentially as fat. So caloric surplus. So how much, how many calories you eat determine your weight in a large way. Now there's a lot of other factors and you'll see these things and these small mechanisms and this food does this or this hormone does this. And those things do affect everybody differently. However, if you focus on those, you're going to lose the forest for the trees. You need to focus on the main concepts, calories, macros, micros, focus on those and 80 to 95% of us will be fine. The other small percentage who might have something else going on, will need some extra nutritional, you know, nutritionist help. We'll need some, some extra work, right? It's like your computer, if there's a problem, we'll just restart it, you know, restart the program, restart the computer. Okay, well, if the problem persists, then you need extra help. But most of the time, that works for most people. It's kind of like that. Calories determine your weight, macros determine your look, your composition, and micros determine your, how you feel. So again, calories, energy balance. If you're getting more food in than you're using, you will put that on as weight. That could be muscle, that could be fat. Kind of depends on what you're eating, composition. 
Uh, if you are in a caloric deficit, if you're eating less food than your body needs, your body will use fuel from elsewhere. So it will start grabbing from your food stores, your fat. Uh, and if you're right at maintenance, then dude, this glare is like insane. Then obviously you will maintain. So that's calories. So macros will determine how you look. So your composition. So if you're eating the right calories, you will, you should be able to see what weight you have uh, and, and move that up and down as you want. If you want to lose weight, you want to gain weight, you want to maintain weight. Now, what you want to do with your body, macros determine that. So macronutrients, uh, the macronutrients we talk about, when we say macros, we mean protein, carbs, and fat. Your protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Uh, and that is in direct relation to your calories. So proteins and carbs are about four grams there are four calories per gram of protein or carb, and fat is nine calories per gram. So fat is more nutrient dense in the center, caloric dense, calorically dense, which is why you can eat like just a handful of nuts, a small handful of nuts, and that's like 150 calories, whereas I can eat a whole salad and that is like 250 calories, right? So different food types have different nutrient densities. Uh, so macros will determine your composition or your look. A lot of people aren't eating enough protein. So a lot of people might, might be kind of skinny or even what we call skinny fat. And they feel like they're always full and content, but they, you know, have no muscle or can't even put on muscle. And if they're trying to put on muscle and they're not gaining any weight, then that we're kind of seeing two things there. One, they're not having enough calories to gain weight. Two, they don't have enough protein to have the composition that is more muscular. Your, your muscles obviously need protein to build. Uh, you need carbs to do the work and you need fat for your hormones and your brain to work. So you do need them all, but you need them in the right proportions. So the easiest way to look at it is, uh, I forget the percentages. I should, I should have prepared this a little bit better, but 0.8 grams per pound to one gram per pound of protein. So if I'm 200 pounds, I'm looking at, what is that? Maybe like 165 to 200 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein, just so you're aware. So that's why we also supplement with protein powders. But most people, you know, when I've talked to them, like even like 160 pound person, like 50 grams of protein, like protein, like once, maybe twice a day. So not getting enough protein not getting the amino acids you need to grow muscle and to, to be strong and be lean. So you really need protein for obviously muscle building, but also it, it, uh, is good for satiety. Like it makes you satiated. Like you feel full, you feel fuller with protein, which is really great. So making sure you have the right amount of protein, making sure you have the right amount of carbs in order that you have energy to do workouts, to get through your day, and then making sure you have the right amount of fats, so that your brain and hormones can function, your, your adrenals, your whatever, dude, I should have, I should have prepped some of this. Your hormone production is good. So your brain, your hormones need the fat to function well. I'm sure there's some other biochemical functions that need fat too, but fat is probably the last one that I consider just to make sure that it is, is minimum, maybe above 50 grams for myself. So what would that be? I have 200 or 2000 calories. So my fat, oops, I got to pull over here. My fat would be how much? My fat's about 50 grams. So that's maybe 25, 30%, which, which is probably minimal and it's easy to eat more of that fat. So you just want to be careful with that. And then carbs, you know, and then carbs, whatever I need for energy. And then micros determine how you feel. So you're, you're, uh, vitamins and minerals, those things really affect a lot in your body. Like I just found out like my B vitamins are kind of low. My B12 is good, but the rest of my Bs are really low and that can really affect neurotransmitters. And then there's the, even the microbiome and gut health and things like that. So the types of good bacteria you're getting, which we don't measure in micros, micros are those vitamins and minerals, but making sure you actually are getting your, your vitamin D, your zinc, uh, vitamin C, um, you know, we could probably list off do a few dozen if I looked at the back of my multivitamin. Um, but that determines how you feel. So brain health, 
body health, you know, we got to make sure that we also do get the micros in as well. But in general, if you eat the right amount of calories, if you eat the right split of macros, and then do focus on your leafy greens and supplement with some multivitamins, uh, you're going to be in a really great place. Like that's, like I said, that's going to take care of 80 to 95% of us. And we're going to be really, really good. Uh, so that's, you know, that's top of mind. I might, might write some more about this just because I love it. Cause people get really caught up like, Oh, you can't have bananas. It's going to stop absorption. I'm like, don't worry about anything like that. If somebody comes at you with a food is bad, like just run for the hills because some individual mechanism likely is not going to make a difference. I mean, I'm proof of that. Like I eat bananas, I eat bananas and smoothies, I eat oatmeal, uh, I eat all these things that spike insulin and blah, 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 all that stuff. And I can get, you know, the shredded body that I want um, by kind of focusing on those three things. So, so calories determine your weight, macros determine your look or composition and micros determine how you feel. So that's, that's what you just got to work, work on. That's the baseline right now. All right, we're out. I might be back. To, I probably won't be back on tomorrow, but these will just keep posting. So thanks for hanging. Please do hit the subscribe, the bell. Uh, if you're on TikTok or YouTube, interact. Let me know if you have questions. I'd love to.